If you've just got the new Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, this video shows you how to get it set up. Select your language and then connect to a Wi-Fi network. Tap next and then agree for the terms and conditions. It will then check the connection and make sure there's no software updates that need to be installed. If you have a Gmail account from your previous device, tap copy Google accounts, apps and data from your other device and then follow the on-screen instructions. If you don't, tap no thanks. You'll then be asked to enter your first and last name onto the screen. Tap next and then you'll be given the option to add an email account to the phone. You can go ahead and add one now or you can do it once the phone has been set up later on. To protect your phone, you'll be asked to set up your fingerprint. We have a video linked below in the video description on how to do this and there will also be a link on screen now. Or you can add a pin, pattern or password. You can skip this step by selecting no, thank you and then tap in next. You'll then be asked to agree to Google services and then asked to sign into your Samsung account if you have one. If you don't, tap create an account or you can skip this part as well. You'll then be asked if you want to copy content from an old device. We'll leave a link below to a video on how to do this and also a link on screen now. The last step is whether or not you want to use easy mode on the handset. Your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge will now be up and running and ready to enjoy. There are more how-to videos linked below such as how to add a fingerprint for the fingerprint scanner, how to insert and remove the SIM card, how to insert and remove the SD card and also how to transfer content from your old Galaxy phone to the new device.